find the QR factorization of the given matrix A, where matrix A is this beautiful 3 by 3 matrix. So let's keep in mind here that the goal is to rewrite this matrix A into the product of matrix Q and matrix R, where matrix Q is a 3 by 3 matrix with orthonormal columns, and matrix R is an invertible upper triangular matrix. Now, hopefully this matrix looks familiar. We can recall that in a previous example, we actually found an orthogonal basis for the column space of this matrix using the Gram-Schmidt process. So we can actually use this orthogonal basis for the column space of matrix A to find matrix Q. Since this is already an orthogonal basis, to find matrix Q, all we need to do is normalize these orthogonal vectors. So here we go. We've got our first vector, vector Q sub 1, and to attain vector Q sub 1, we are normalizing vector V sub 1. So we have vector V sub 1 divided by the magnitude of vector V sub 1, which is the square root of 1 plus 1. So this leaves us with the scalar multiple 1 by the square root of 2, multiplied by the vector width components, 0, 1, 1. And distributing this scalar through, we have the vector width components, 0, 1 by the square root of 2, 1 by the square root of 2. Beautiful! So now we need to find vector q sub 2. So to find vector q sub 2, we are going to normalize vector v sub 2. So we have vector v sub 2 divided by the length of this vector. So this is the square root of 1 plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth, which is equal to vector v sub 2 divided by the square root of 3 halves. So simplifying this, we can rewrite this as the square root of 2 by the square root of 3 multiplied by vector v sub 2, which is the vector with components negative 1, 1 half, negative one half, and distributing this scalar multiple through, we are left with the vector with components, negative square root of two by three, square root of two divided by two times the square root of three, and then minus the square root of two divided by two times the square root of three. And last but certainly not least, we need to find vector q sub 3, and we find vector q sub 3 by normalizing vector v sub 3. So we have the given vector v sub 3 divided by its length, which is the square root of 4 ninths plus 4 ninths plus 4 ninths. So this simplifies to vector v sub 3 divided by the square root of 12 ninths, which we can further simplify to being 3 divided by 2 times the square root of 3 multiplied by the vector v sub 3 with the components 2 thirds, 2 thirds, negative 2 thirds. And distributing that scalar multiple through, we are left with the vector with components 1 by the square root of 3 1 by the square root of 3 minus 1 by the square root of 3. So therefore, matrix Q is the 3 by 3 matrix with column vectors Q sub 1, Q sub 2, and Q sub 3. So these are orthonormal column vectors. They are orthogonal and unit vectors. So now that we have this matrix Q, we are ready to find matrix R. So how are we going to find this invertible upper triangular matrix R? Well, using the fact that matrix Q has orthonormal columns, we know that the product of the transpose of matrix Q with matrix Q is equal to the identity matrix. So with this identity in mind, let's left-hand multiply the QR factorization equation by the transpose of matrix Q. Now, simplifying the right-hand side, 
we can reduce this down to matrix R. So in other words, matrix R is equal to the transpose of matrix Q multiplied by matrix A. So that's how we'll find matrix R. We need to compute the transpose of Q times matrix A. And giving ourselves plenty of room, we are going to compute this matrix using the row column rule. So this is going to be equal to, we have the first row times the first column, which is 0 plus 1 by the square root of 2 plus 1 by the square root of 2. First row times the second column, 0 plus 0 minus 1 by the square root of 2. First row by the third column gives us 0 plus 1 by the square root of 2 plus 0. Second row by the first column leaves us with 0 plus the square root of 2 by 2 times the square root of 3 minus the square root of 2 by 2 times the square root of 3. Second row times the second column leaves us with the square root of 2 by the square root of 3 plus 0 plus the square root of 2 by 2 times the square root of 3. Second row times the third column leaves us with minus square root of 2 by the square root of 3 plus the square root of 2 by 2 times the square root of 3 plus 0. And the third row times the first column leaves us with 0 plus 1 by the square root of 3 minus 1 by the square root of 3. Third row times the second column leaves us with minus 1 by the square root of 3 plus 0 plus 1 by the square root of 3. And the third row times the third column leaves us with 1 by the square root of 3 plus 1 by the square root of 3 plus 0. Now combining up all of these like terms, we are left with our beautiful 3 by 3 matrix R. And we are officially ready now to make our final conclusions. We can say that the given 3 by 3 matrix A is equal to the 3 by 3 matrix Q, whose columns are orthonormal, multiplied by the 3 by 3 matrix R, the invertible upper triangular matrix, making this our beautiful final answer.